2020, we are in the final stretch before Super Tuesday as Democratic candidates push to win the nomination and the field still is narrowing. Senator Elizabeth Warren and several of her fellow candidates were in Alabama today, one of 14 states heading to the polls this week. Now, she's also holding a number of events to get out the vote here in Massachusetts. And a lot is at stake for the senator here in her home state. WBZ's Paul Burton reports. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Knocking on doors. Great. So your polling location is making phone calls on Sunday. Supporters for Senator Elizabeth Warren were out in full force campaigning on her behalf for Super Tuesday. You will be voting for Elizabeth on Election Day, which is this Tuesday, March 3rd. And so just go out there and talk from your heart about why it is you're for Elizabeth and why we know we need to go to the polls for her on Tuesday. Great. All right, all right. And Cambridge Attorney General Maura Healy and Congresswoman Catherine Clark went door to door after a get out the vote rally. It is crunch time, and that's, you know, that's why we're here. That's why we're out. The good news is that's why you see so many people out today. It's about canvassing. It's about phone banks. One day after Senator Bernie Sanders held a rally on the Boston Common that drew in thousands, Democratic representatives Joe Kennedy and Jim McGovern also campaigned on Warren's behalf. I think she's the best candidate uh, uh, and make the best president, and I'm enthusiastically doing all I can to put her over the finish line. With Super Tuesday just a day away, the polls have Sanders and Warren pretty much neck and neck. Some voters say a loss here in Massachusetts would be a huge setback to her campaign. I think so. I mean, I think we have to support her in that way. It's another reason that I really want to vote for her on Tuesday. Super Tuesday is very important. We think that Elizabeth is going to win Massachusetts. This is a, a, a pivot point in these campaigns, and that each of us has an opportunity to actually contribute to that and help shape it and get bring people out and, and have their voices heard at the polls. That's what it's all about. It's not over till the buzzer sounds. Right. In Cambridge, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.